Good morning, my friends. Happy Thursday. I'm glad to see you. I have another story for you today. Look who's in the story. Skunk and Bear. Remember in our last story, Bear really wanted to give Skunk a hug. And Skunk was trying to make him stinky, but then who ended up stinky? Skunk did, yeah. And Bear got his hug. This is another story called, Who Needs a Bath? So let's do our morning message, and then I want to read this to you. It's another fun one. All right, today's Thursday. Thursday, no, uh-oh. Mrs. Bennett, you forgot a letter. <gasps> Guess what? You get to help me today. You're going to help me figure out some letters to write in the message. Okay, the first word says Thursday. And the next word says November, but I'm missing the very first letter. Let's say the word November. N November. N n n. What letter makes the sound n n? N, like Nora. I'm going to write an N here. Where's that capital N? Thursday, November 19. What does the next part of our message always say? It always says, good morning 4K, but we're missing the first sound in good. Say the word good with me. Good, g, g, good, g, g. Do you know what letter makes a g, g sound? It's a G. We don't have anyone that starts with G, so we don't see that letter as often on our board. There's a G. And then what letter should we start morning with? M morning. What goes M? M. M morning. Now we can read it. Good morning, 4K. There's a couple more empty spots. Let's read another book about. Bear and Skunk. We're going to read about Bear and Skunk. Can you say bear with me? Bear. What's the beginning sound? B, B, bear. B, B, B. Like Bryson and Brooklyn. B, 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 capital B. And who's this other guy? Skunk. Skunk. Do you hear it? S skunk. That's the S sound, like a snake. And it looks like a snake, too. Big, curvy S. Let's read another book about bear and skunk. Thanks for helping me with those letter sounds. Now I get to read you this funny story called who needs a bath? Who do you think needs a bath, bear or skunk? Probably skunk, right? This is written and illustrated by Jeff Mack. <laughs> There's skunk. Looks like he has a piece of cheese he's going to eat. It was skunk's birthday. Bear had a plan. Here's what he wrote. Party at the pond. Don't tell Skunk. It's a surprise. Don't tell Skunk, okay? There was just one problem. Who wants to party with a stinky skunk? Not me. Hey, you. Even Bear had to admit it. Skunk stunk. <laughs> but Bear had an idea. Hello, Skunk. How would you like to take a bath? Ha! said Skunk. Why would I want that? Because baths are fun, said Bear. They make you smell nice. Well, I'm a skunk, see, and skunks never take baths. Luckily, Bear had another idea. This slide will make your bath fun, he said. I doubt it, said Skunk. Just try it, said Bear. You'll go really fast. Okay, said Skunk, but I'll need a push. 
One push coming up, said Bear. Push harder, said Skunk. I am pushing harder, said Bear. Ha, 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 almost there. Can you see what Skunk's doing? He's going to reach for that tree so he doesn't get in the bath. Got it! Oh, look out below! Splash! Who's in the pond? Bear is. See, said Bear, this bath is fun. You were right about the fast slide, said Skunk. But that bath does not look like fun. Luckily, Bear had another idea. This swing will make your bath fun, he said. You'll feel like you're flying. Okay, said Skunk, but only if we can swing together. Hop on, said Bear. Creak. I think we're too heavy, said Bear. I'll fix that, said Skunk. See how it made the tree bend? Wait, wait, said Bear. Don't get up. Ha 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 ha. Swoosh. Skunk got up and the tree branch went. Whoop, and look, there's Bear. Splash. Bear, now doesn't this bath look like fun? Asked Bear. You were right about flying, said Skunk, but that bath does not look like fun. <laughs> Luckily, Bear had another idea. It's a trampoline, said Bear. Now you can bounce into your bath. That's not fun, said Skunk. It is if you bounce high, said Bear. Boing, boing, boing. You call that high, said Skunk. How about this, said Bear. Boing. Higher, cried Skunk. Bounce higher. Ha, 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 Do you think Skunk's trying to trick him again? Is he going to make Bear go flying into the pond? <gasps> Boing. Crash. Oops, said Bear. That's too high, said Skunk. No, it's not, said Bear. Can't you see how fun this is? But Bear was just a little too heavy. Creak, splash. Okay, said Bear. Maybe it was too high, but it was fun. That bath does not look like fun, said Skunk. I'll never take a bath. But you have to take a bath, cried Bear. If you don't, no one will come to your party. Huh? asked Skunk. What party? <gasps> Oops, said Bear. Did someone say party? It's a pool party. Surprise! Hooray! I love pool parties. And I love baths. Wait, cried Skunk, what about me? I want to have fun too. It's my birthday. Where's my surprise? Squish. He just stepped on the soap, you guys. Look out, cried Bear. Slip. Oops. Boing. Oof. Swoop. Yikes. Look out below, splash! Oh my goodness. He bounced on the trampoline, swinged on the swing, slid down the slide, and now Skunk is in the water, isn't he? That was awesome! I told you baths are fun, said Bear. You were right, said Skunk. What a surprise! Happy birthday, skunk. Now everyone's having fun in the bath in the pond, aren't they? With bubbles and bubbles. And that is the end. And there's Bear, all squeaky clean. Did skunk get clean too? Mm-hmm. So what happened at the beginning of this story? Bear wanted Skunk to take a bath, right? Why did he want him to take a bath? He was stinky, and they were going to have something special for Skunk. They had a special plan, right? 
In the middle of the story, Bear tried lots of things to get Skunk to get in the bath. Can you remember what some of those things were? I'll give you a hint. Whee! Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Boing! At the end of the story, what finally happened? Yeah, Skunk wound up taking a bath, right? And all their friends were in the tub too? Well, in the pond, because they're animals. Do you think this story is real or make-believe? It's make-believe, isn't it? We call that fiction, like fake, because animals don't really have birthday parties, and they don't really talk, and they don't really do people things like slide on slides or wear a hat or use soap when they're getting clean. So Jeff Mack wrote this story and he used animals for his characters, but they act like people. That's kind of a fun way to write a fiction book. Well, we're going to finish up our learning for today, but then I want to remind you and your family that there is no school tomorrow on Friday. It was a planned no school day for um, not just for 4K or virtual learners, but for our entire school. So we will be back then on Monday with some more uh, virtual learning for 4K for a couple days. Bye, friends.